I've been very, very lucky in, in the work that I've done to have managers who are very hands-off. You know, if you point, and I think this might be a trait with, with um, activists, you need to point them in the right direction, give them the outcome of what you're expecting, but how they get there, you don't want to know the detail. They'll get there. I mean, it's like if anybody said to me, produce a project plan, produce this, I, I wouldn't be able to deliver, you know, I'm, I don't do the detail, but I will get you to your end point, you know, so don't worry about how I'm going to do it, but you'll get your project, basically. If I'm an activist, um, then an activist is somebody that has taken the decision that there is one of three ways of dealing with things in life. And mine, in this instance, is health. Um, I could um, close the door and just ignore it. Uh, I could join a group that's radical, that wants to take them on um, through the courts and be a very much an anti-campaign against um, change. Or you could become a group that says the only way you're going to change things is by getting people to take ownership. So we're getting patients to take ownership with management and with clinicians. And together, if we get that group, and we've got that group, we've, that group is growing all the time. Clinicians very strong, patient very strong. Management was weaker, but that's growing. We, we, we've got a lot of management. I mean, we're working on a project now, which we were invited into um, with one of the, the hospital trusts, where could we look at, with them, developing a PALS system that is run by patients uh, with teeth, as I call it, so patients that can actually achieve something for other patients. I've not heard of something similar to that anywhere else in the country, but that's a major step for this particular group of management to say, wow, this is a group that won't fight us on every silly little area. They're looking at the bigger picture, and you've got to look at the bigger picture. It's pointless fighting to save beds if they're not going to be used. What, what's the point of saving beds? It's, it's pointless trying to save four stroke units that only run um, seven hours a day, five days a week. I had my stroke, and when I was in there, there was no clinician. Three days later, I'm getting a scan that realised I'd had a stroke. That, that's terrible. So do I want to sue? No, don't want to sue. Could do, but no. And that's not going to change anything. That's taking money out of the system. The specialists tend to look in their own areas and don't go beyond that, whereas we can look across any area and look at the specialty worldwide and say, yes, but should we look at this? It's got its freedom to actually open up, speak up and be heard. Where with the PPI, the PPI wants to be heard, but they can't just do it openly and freely. They've got to get permission to do it. Okay. And, and quite often the, the things that they want to say get blocked and they get told, no, you can't do that. When I was doing some of this work, you kept getting knocked back, knocked back, knocked back, loads of challenges, and you just have to keep going and thinking, well, I am going to deliver this. And also, you know, if I've got this many healthcare professionals involved, I really want to make this happen. Um, I also think about activists. It's all about wanting to make a difference or to be noticed. I think there's quite a lot of that in, 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 in sort of a personal thing, that you, you, know, you want to be noticed for what you do. You're prepared to put your head above the parapet and, and sort of be seen as doing something different. I think is, is you know, sort of breaking the mould, if you like. An activist is somebody within an organisation that can raise its head above the, above the parallel cell and not be chopped off. Unfortunately, the NHS is not very good at allowing that. Um, and therefore, we've met a lot of people along our way that think we're doing a great job, been there, done it before, mate, and it doesn't work because eventually you're going to get your, your legs cut from underneath you, your head chopped off. Energy is, is a big factor as well. Um, and, and, and I think enthusiasm and energy are a great sort of thing to go together. I think you have to be quite a, a firm believer in what you do, um, quite sort of passionate around what you do. Um, you, know, you don't come in and, and expect to do a sort of, uh, you know, come in and do the nine to five job. It's, it's more than that. And, and afraid that's one of the things of, of being an activist, I think, is it, it's, it's more than a nine to five job. You live and breathe it sometimes. I think you've got to use something different than the usual methods that the NHS uses to engage people. I mean, it's additional, have a public meeting, and expect people to come. I mean, ours was a very much a different approach. We would go out to reach the public as opposed to expecting the public to come to us. So the use of things like a mobile bus in going outside on Saturdays to B&Q in all the markets, if there was a protest, we would stick the bus in the protest march rather than sort of veering away and um, thinking, oh gosh, we don't want to get involved. We were sort of, yeah, no, we're, we're prepared to tackle you head on with any issues that you have, we'll give you whatever information. If I am an activist, it's just passion. It, it's the passion, it's the knowledge, it's the, the will, 
it's the foresight, um, and I suppose more important, it's the um, the ability not to um, allow yourself to be knocked back. It's 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 a it's a passion to be taking phone calls at you know nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at night when someone wants to talk to you about it, um, because it's playing on the mind. Um, that's an activist to me. Uh, they take the call at six o'clock in the morning because you you don't switch off. It's seven days a week. It's fifty two weeks of the year, so you really do have to have a passion for what you're trying to achieve. And more important, I suppose, you've got to believe it's achievable.